Hello, it's Rachel Archelius here, and I just want to have a little chat about you and what you love and something that might be coming up for you right now. I had a coaching session this morning with an amazing creator, and she has discovered over the last few weeks of being at home and not having to go out in the world to teach that she has really enjoyed having more free time and flexibility in her schedule. It's not that she didn't love what she was doing before, but now she just feels more fulfilled, more in control, and she's sensing that things are gonna be opening back up soon. So she would in essence be going back out into the world to do the work that she was doing before. She's feeling a little conflicted about that, which is understandable. She loves parts of what she was doing, but she's found a new baseline in what she's been able to accomplish in the last few weeks and how it's felt to her. So she came to me for some advice as to like how to get out of her head, how to decide what the best path for her is, and I totally understood where she was coming from. A lot of times we will find a new answer or we'll be called to a new situation or we'll have stumbled into something that just feels really good but it doesn't mean that we don't like what we had before when i had my sports car it was the second time i had owned that exact same year and model because i just loved it so much it was beautiful i loved it it was fun to drive it was everything i could have wanted in a car except it wasn't white but for a few months, I'd really been called to owning an RV. And I, at the time, I couldn't afford both. I also didn't really want to have two different vehicles. So I decided that I was going to sell my Z and buy an RV. I felt the same exact way. Sometimes in my head, it would kick up and say, but you really love this car. My partner really loved that car, right? It was so fun. It was, it's the only car I've ever really loved. I'm not really a car person, but that one car from the moment I saw it in that magazine, before it was even available in this country, I just knew I would own it. And I gave it up <laughs> and I sold it. I ended up selling it to buy my RV. I really did. And a lot of people told me I was crazy, but you know what? It was almost like I couldn't not do it. I just had this desire and it was so strong to have that RV. And it took me a little while to find it. I was at, without a car for a few weeks, um, but even that process was awesome. I got to walk around my neighborhood more, really understand where I lived, see new things. I mean, even, even having no vehicle for a while was really wonderful and I really enjoyed it. So obviously I ended up with the RV, I ended up with Gertie, I went on so many adventures. I drove across the country several times. I went to national parks, I went to see my friends and family. I got stuck in an ice storm in Austin, Texas. Um, it just so many things happen and I would not trade that time for anything. Was that experience better to me than if I had held on to the car? Yes, it opened me up to so many new things. And while I wouldn't have suffered if I kept my car, um, I wouldn't have experienced all that I did with the RV. So it was definitely worth it. And when we're called to something, we know, and it's sometimes difficult to have the trust in ourselves and the faith that everything will work out, but it will. And the things that you would miss will get filled in. It's not like you're just giving something up and it'll never come back again. It will, it will, it will, and you'll get even more. So I shared this story with my client and it really resonated with her. She felt the same way. She knew things would fill in and she did the yes, no technique of what to do. And she got really clear answers and she left feeling solid in what she wants. If you stumbled upon something that you really love from this time of you know, staying at home, well, know that you don't have to give it up when everything goes back to normal. You can keep what you love. You can alter what you will do going forward to honor yourself. And I just wanted to share that. So 
Super love to you all. Let me know what did you discover in this time? What do you love that maybe wasn't accessible before? I would love to hear it. Super love, guys. Bye for now.